Hi, welcome to the fifth unit of Bioprocess Technology course. In this unit, we are going to talk about microbial growth kinetics and parts and functions of a bioreactor. The kinetics of a chemical reaction is something we are very much familiar with. In a chemical reaction, reactants combine to give a product. And the kinetics of a reaction, depending on the concentration of the reactants, physical, physical conditions, and the concentration of the product especially in case of a reversible reaction. In microbial growth kinetics, we are applying the similar factors here. Instead of reactants in a microbial growth kinetics, we are considering substrate. So we are just imagine microbial growth as a reaction. In this reaction, microorganisms use substrate to increase the growth. So growth is the product substrates are the reactants so when we compare like that we can actually derive the rate of growth or kinetics of a reaction for microbial growth kinetics is basically the relationship between specific growth rate of a microorganism and its substrate concentration specific growth rate means growth rate of a microorganism in a specific conditions specific carbon source maybe specific nitrogen source specific ph specific temperature so it's basically the specific growth rate growth rate in a particular condition particular set of conditions maybe different nutritional conditions will be there different physical conditions will be there different chemical conditions there so growth rate of a microorganism in a specific condition and substrate conditions or concentration so just like the chemical reaction we can actually increase the rate of microbial growth by increasing the substrate if you are providing more of nitrogen source more of carbon source in a balanced way the reaction will improve the microbial growth will improve so in microbial growth kinetics we are actually studying the relationship between specific growth rate of a microorganism and substrate concentration so the ultimate aim is to improve the productivity in an industrial setup so how much substrate need to be provided for a microorganism to get maximum growth and yield when we think about this growth kinetics, the microbial growth is not just like a chemical reaction. It has a, it is more complicated. Several thousands of reactions are happening in a microorganism before growth, before division and everything. So basically microbial growth has two different components. One is cell growth, which is the increasing size of the microorganism. Second is cell division, the division of cell into Two different cells the daughter cells will be produced so microbial growth has two different components cell growth grow in size and cell division grow in numbers so as far as the microorganism is concerned the microbial cell division is more important than the cell growth because the potential for the growth is very much limited but still cell growth also contributed to the uh, growth kinetics Microorganisms divide using different mechanisms. Uh, I have listed four main mechanisms of microbial growth, which include binary fission, which is very much common in bacterial cells, then budding, uh, classical mechanism in the yeast, single cell, the fungus, yeast, budding is the mechanism of cell division, then fragmentation, which is seen in the mycelial hyphae of the fungus, then spore formation, different bacteria and fungus use this for spore formation as a mode of cell division. The properties of a growth kinetics vary depending on the type of cell division the microorganism is undergoing. So the kinetics for the binary fission will be different from the kinetics of the spore formation type of cell division. So it vary depending on the type of cell division. But in our discussion, we are basically considering in the most simplest way of cell division that is binary fission. So as we compared the cell division with the chemical reaction, the growth, microbial growth can be considered as a autocatalytic reaction. This catalytic reaction by itself because our product is microbial growth. So our product, the microorganism itself is able to grow. So it's type of autocatalytic reaction 
then the rate of growth is directly proportional to the concentration of the cell. If you have more number of cells, there will be more growth. The rate of growth will be high. If the number of cells is less, the rate of growth will be uh, less. So there is a direct relationship between the concentration of the cells and the growth. If concentration of cells is high, there is no more number of cells, more growth will be there. If there is less number of cells, less growth will be there. Because the reaction is basically a binary fission type of reaction. One cell grow and divide into two. And again, these two of them divide into four. Four to eight. So, it's a exponential type of growth. So, it's an autocatalytic reaction. Uh, the reaction kinetics is rate of growth is directly proportional to the cell concentration. And this growth is affected by physical, chemical and nutritional conditions. We know that the, the physical conditions like the presence of oxygen, maybe uh, pH, temperature, everything affects the growth of microorganism. Then chemical composition of the medium, nutritional conditions of the medium, everything affects the growth. So we can actually control the growth rate by manipulating physical, chemical and the nutritional condition in a culture. And there are different mechanisms, there are the different methods to find the growth of cells or the concentration of cells. And I'm just giving a few points like if you want to measure how cells has grown, there are direct and indirect methods to measure the cell growth. Direct methods including dry weight measurement. So once we culture the microorganism, we will after the culture we will just centrifuge it and we'll take the pellet and we'll dry the pellet and take the weight of it. So the weight of the pellet will be directly proportional to the growth of microorganism or the amount of biomass. Then next method is turbidity. Uh, you have already done it. Like in the experiment in which you studied the growth curve of microorganism, actually the growth of microorganism is measured by taking the optical density in a spectrophotometer. So in that way, we can actually measure the cell concentration. Then plate count, sped plate or pore plate can be used to study the number of viable microorganism in a culture. Indirect method, uh, methods that not directly count the number of cells, uh, they actually measure or estimate the number of microorganisms by, by measuring the protein concentration. Maybe specific protein in a, in a cell will be analyzed to see how uh, much cells are there or the ATP concentration can be measured or the DNA content can be measured to get an idea about cell growth. So, in order to find the number of microorganism, growth of microorganism, we can either use direct methods or indirect methods. So, whenever we think about the kinetics, there will be some equations. In this case, we have something called a monoid equation, uh, which actually is a mathematical model for the growth of microorganism. Monoid equation is developed by Jacques Monod, is a Nobel laureate, and it says that mu is equal to mu max into s plus ks plus s i think most of you will find it very much familiar uh, something like you know v is equal to v max into s by km plus s which is the michaelis method equation so uh, it is actually the monoid equation is something very much related to the uh, michaelis method equation but in this case we are measuring the microbial growth kinetics so let me explain everything in this equation mu is the specific growth rate so the basic kinetics, how fast the microorganism is growing, is represented by mu. Here we have mu max. Mu max is the maximum growth rate, maximum specific growth rate of the microorganism. Then S is the substrate concentration. In this case, not just the substrate concentration, concentration of the limiting substrate. In a medium, there will be so many different types of substrate will be there. And one of them will be the limiting uh, substrate. Uh, which is the one which control the growth of rate of reaction the lowest it will be something in limited quantities that's why it's called a limiting nutrient uh, or limiting substrate then we have the ks ks is very much similar to the km of the michaelis menten equation is the half velocity constant what i want to say in this reaction what we are getting is like if you want to measure the rate of growth of a microorganism in a specific uh, substrate concentration we can actually get it from this equation if you know the substrate concentration and mu max and ks you can actually calculate the or predict the growth rate you are going to get in a specific conditions 
the equation make more sense in light of this graph it is something very much similar to the enzyme reaction also so i will tell one by one in x axis we will have the we have the substrate concentration so x axis we have substrate concentration in mg per liter then in y axis we have mu that is the growth rate then this graph basically show the relationship between the substrate concentration and the growth rate and this graph sh show that if the substrate concentration is increasing there is a direct relationship between the growth rate if the limiting substrate concentration increases the growth rate also increases okay it is not exponential but just like the michaelis menten equation uh, the enzyme reactions so substrate concentration increases the growth rate of the microorganism also increases and after a specific substrate concentration the growth rate uh, of the microorganism will get into a saturation which is called a mu max and further increase in substrate concentration do not lead to the increase in uh, growth rate so once the substrate concentration reaches some point like this the growth rate will be get into a saturation point so there won't be any increase in the uh, growth rate for the further increase in substrate concentration so that is mu max maximum growth rate then we have ks ks is calculated by first taking the half mu max the whatever the mu max value just take the half of it and the substrate concentration corresponding to the half mu max is called ks okay so substrate concentration corresponding to the half mu max half mu max is here so we'll put a line here and here so this is the ks so then we get the equation like mu is equal to mu max into s by ks plus s which is called a monoid equation which is the mathematical explanation for the microbial growth so it's actually say the relationship between the growth rate and substrate concentration in an industry we actually looking into the kinetics of product formation we have, we know the microbial growth kinetics is important but our basic objective is to get an idea about how fast a product is produced in following sessions i will be talking more about the microbial growth kinetics so before that i would like to share something about the kinetics of product formation so the microbial growth kinetics is they are related to the product formation kinetics and this relationship is depending on the how the product and the growth is associated and there are three different categories of relationship between the growth of microorganism and product formation first one is growth associated product this product will be produced uh, this production is directly related to the growth if microorganism grow there will be product will be there if the growth is less product will be less so growth associated products next we have non growth associated products these products are not depending on the microbial growth okay there is no relationship between the growth of microorganism and product formation and finally we have mixed growth associated products these products are depending on the growth and it is not that much related on growth so some products are like that so the relationship between the microbial growth kinetics and product formation kinetics is depending on the association ship between the growth and product formation so this is the first category growth associated product the growth associated products including the biomass single cell proteins and the primary metabolites the production of biomass and the primary metabolites is growth associated if the microorganism grow the product will be there so growth if only way to get the product is to grow the microorganism if we have a higher rate of microbial growth we will get higher productivity if the growth rate is less the productivity will be less so such type of relationship exists so in this graph you can see here is the time in x as axis and y axis have cell or product concentration if the you can see the cell concentration is represented in blue line and the product is in red line there is a correlation there is a uh, relationship between the product formation and uh, like cell concentration if the cells as the cell increases the product also increases and mathematically it says that dp by dt that is the rate of product formation i know uh, you are familiar with the derivation uh, like 
dp by dt the rate of product formation uh, which is represented at rp rp represent rate of product formation is equal to qpx okay qp is the specific rate of product formation into biomass concentration which says that the product formation rate is directly proportional to the biomass concentration if the biomass concentration increases there will be an increase in the product formation if the specific growth rate increases there is a increase in the product formation so the growth rate and the product concentration is directly related in growth associated products next we have the non growth associated products which include in the secondary metabolites like antibiotics and in this case product formation is unrelated to the growth rate we don't the, there is no relationship between the growth rate and product formation but one thing is there it is depending on the cell concentration so here is the same graph in the cell grow in this fashion but product formation is though not that much correlated with the cell concentration in secondary metabolites actually they are produced in this stationary phase but the thing is that if there are more number of cells in the system the product formation is high if the number of cells is high the secondary metabolite production will be high so even though it is not directly related to the growth rate but the final concentration of the cell is important if the number of cells is high the product formation will be high so qp the specific rate of product formation in case of non growth associated products is a constant which is represented by beta so in the non growth associated products the product formation is not related to the growth rate but they are depending on the cell concentration finally we have the mixed growth associated products in this case the product formation is depending on both on growth rate and the cell concentration so in case of growth associated products the product formation is depending on the growth rate in case of non cell uh, non growth associated products the product formation is depending on cell concentration in case of mixed growth associated products it is depending on both on growth rate and concentration of the cells so in this case uh, you can see the graph the cell concentration and product formation this product formation is depending on the rate of growth and concentration of cells mathematically it is represented as qp is equal to alpha mu plus beta here uh, alpha is the growth associated factor uh, beta is the constant from the uh, non growth associated factor mu is the specific growth rate so in mixed growth associated products uh, the product formation is uh, depending on the growth rate as well as the cell concentration thank you so much